uh, well, the Blade Dancer subclass has three invisibility perks, and then, uh, but the best thing to use here for invisibility is the Don't Touch Me gloves, exotic gloves. I don't have hardly anything on PS4, I just have the bare minimum to get this done. But Don't Touch Me is make it so if you get hit with a melee, then you disappear. So, like, you can just, like, you can just run through here without even thinking about it when you have those. Crouch invisibility and the super invisibility. Now I'm on track. And everybody blazing. Yeah. You will hear like Guardian down when I pull you guys through, but it doesn't count against Flawless right here.
uh, we will pause when we get there, but one, do you remember who you are? Say one, two, three, cool. And we're through. on the center plate. So if you're one, two, or three, I'm going to come hang out right in the middle of the map over here. And uh, if you are not one, two, or three, I need one of you to come stand under this totem over here where Laura is. If you are not one, two, or three. Okay, Retra's got it. So Retra, stay under the totem inside the thin blue circle here. Do not get out. I'll tell you when. And then same thing, we need someone on the other side who's not one, two, or three. Is that you, Blazin? Yeah, you guys can jump up and down inside there, but do not get out of that until I tell you. So really quick review, since this is Fallout Raider, the way this works is we all have to cross this bridge one at a time. Uh, you cannot cross it unless you're holding a hive sword. Once in a while, Sword Bear is going to come out of those doors up there, and we will kill him. One guy will grab the sword and run across. Very important to remember, though, when you get to the other side, there's a big, ugly blue guy, and you have to chop him with the sword. He's huge, and he's very blue. And the easiest way to find him is once you get across the bridge, just keep running straight. And 99% of the time, he'll just be coming out of the door right in front of you there very, very shortly. Uh... The way this works is to build the bridge, I have to stand on the center disc and stay there to build the bridge and keep it up. But no one can be on that center disc unless there's one person on each of these totems. That's why Retra and Blazin are on those totems. And they're going to stay there until we get the first three people across. Once the first three are across, then they do the same thing for us on the other side. There'll be one guy standing on the disc and one on each totem. Now, number one to cross the bridge, after you kill your big blue guy, you should go stand under a totem on that side. Doesn't matter which one, just go pick one. Do you know what I mean by a totem? Cool. And then number two, same thing. You go, once you're across, kill your gatekeeper, then you go stand under the other totem. And that makes it easy so that when number three crosses, he kills his gatekeeper, then he just stands on the center disc because you guys are already on the totems ready to go. All right, so, uh, and then once you guys are settled, us three that are still on this side, Blazin, Retra, and me, we're gonna go flying up these stairs here. And we're gonna hang out right here because it's super safe and almost nothing's gonna bug us here. We're just gonna hang out, dance a little, do our stuff, and then kill the sword. Oops, I forgot to switch weapons. That reminds me. We'll kill the sword bear as he comes out of the door one at a time. For you guys to each grab a sword and run across and then I'll go last. Alright, anybody have questions? Uh, save your supers unless your health starts getting low, then feel free to use them. We don't need them for anything else, so they're just to protect yourself if you get in trouble. Alright, sounds like everybody's ready, huh? Okay. Here we go. Stay on those totems. Oh, and don't pick up first guy. Do not pick up the sword too quick because the bridge won't be ready. So kind of uh, do a little bit of damage to the sword bearer. But don't kill him quite yet. Try to keep his health a little bit low if you can. All right, now it's fine. Now you can grab it. Grab it quick. Go, go, go. Chop your big blue guy. And for you guys to chop, it's your normal trigger finger. Number two, are you ready? Ready. Sweet. And stuff. Uh 
quite yet. There is an exploder that comes out of the door between each sword bear that I can usually get him before he's even out. There he is. Number three, you ready? Okay, grab the middle there, center bridge disc, and then Blazin' Man and Roma Gosh, let's run up the stairs. Just ignore everything on your way up. Jump past everything. Oh, well, whoever's on this side still. Sorry. Retro. Somebody grab that. Retra, grab that sword. Thank you. Okay, everybody collapse to the middle of the map and grab a sword. And everybody stick together in the middle. Just stay in a tight circle right here in the middle. So that way you don't get ten guys after you at once. Uh, if anybody has a tether or a bubble, feel free to put that up. But everybody should come to the middle. Yeah, there we go. There we go. go yeah, go to the bubble. Oh good, you're on Blessing. I forgot to mention that too. Bye, the 
tether here. Okay, be careful, there's a few ads still. Nice, that was the hardest part of the whole thing. Woo. Okay, uh, so no one should go up the stairs yet. Uh, I need one person to volunteer to put on galley. Just one. Okay. So the way we're going to run this is when it's time, we're all going to slowly walk forward together as a group. And primaries only. Uh, just primaries only. No grenades. Because we don't want to hit each other. Primaries only, we're just going to slowly walk forward, clearing all the ads out of the way. As soon as the first Shrieker opens, then our galley guy is going to shoot the Shrieker. One shot will kill it, and we're all going to run back out here right where we are right now and wait for the Shrieker Death Blast to dissipate. And then we're going to do the same thing again after that. We'll all walk forward till we get close enough to the, to the second Shrieker for it to open, and then our galley person will fire their galley shot off kill the shrieker and we'll all run back out here again wait for it to dissipate and then after that everybody will just hang out here and i'll run through to the end real quick and that will uh, make all the ads disappear and we'll just walk through after that galley person are you ready okay and we'll have him up front and don't jump because we don't want to get in front of the galley shot all right let's go everybody Run away! Okay, same thing again. Watch out for the exploders. Run, 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 run. All right. Is that death blast going to come all the way back here? Cool. And I will just go through real quick. Awfully big, don't die falling down. Be careful. Yep, do not shoot out the doorway. Uh, hey, Jared, and uh, don't run out there, don't shoot out there because that starts a timer. So, the way we're going to do this one is Let's see, Blazon, you're going to be Titan 1, and do we have another Titan? No. Oh, yeah, okay. Um, so Blazon, what we're going to do is... Uh, when the, Okay, so the way this one works is right upstairs from us, there's a big yellow bar wizard and we got to kill her. That's really all there is to it. But she's locked in a room with glass, so we can't get to her. Uh, just like that hallway, we have to kill two Shriekers, one on either side of the map, in order to break the glass. Uh, the Shriekers won't open, though, unless we kill a little mini wizard that's protecting the Shriekers. So when this starts, we will all run forward, and everybody will take a left together. We'll all go left. We'll go up a set of stairs, and right at the top of the set of stairs, there's an entrance to a room. Right at the threshold to the entrance to the room, we're going to have Blazon Man put his um, bubble right there. And Blazon Man, you should be on Blessing, Bastion, and Illuminated on your perks. Blessing, Bastion, Illuminated. Or as close as you can get. Sweet. Nice. Uh, and so we're going to hang out right around that bubble there, and we have to kill everything that's right outside the room. 
And then once everything there is dead, three acolytes are going to come out of a door inside the room. We kill them, and right about that same time, the mini wizard's coming towards us. So we'll all kill the mini wizard. And then right when the mini wizard dies, the shrieker opens. We all shoot the Shrieker together. When the Shrieker dies, we'll all run across the bridge to Crota's platform. Remember, don't shoot right now, but that's where I'm aiming my gun right now, is where Crota spawns out there. Once we're all out there and we're regrouped, we're going to go keep going across and do exactly the same thing on the other side. We'll kill the adds right outside the door. We'll kill the acolytes that are inside and the wizard. Kill the Shrieker and then run back to Crota's platform again. We'll only be on Crota's platform for a short time, and then we're all going to go charging into the center room and kill the wizard. Uh, anybody got questions about that? All right. Okay, and uh, no tethers near those shriekers because it will lock them closed, and it's bad. So everybody ready to go? All right, here we go. We're all going left together. You can ignore these guys out here. left, up the stairs, right, puts this bubble right up here, where I am, good enough. Make sure the ads outside are dead, here come the acolytes, don't crowd the door or they won't come out, get them, everybody come inside, watch out for the wizard, come on Wizzy, here she comes, everybody team shooter. Shrieker, run away, out to Crota's platform, across the bridge, just follow, yeah, across the bridge, make sure you're reloaded, and here we go on the other side, I'm going to kill all these ads over here. or acolytes on the inside and then here comes wizard shrieker and then we're all gonna run away back to Crota's platform is that shrieker death blast and very shortly we're all gonna go charging into the center room all right let's go everybody Everyone, center room. And when we get to the first room, just skip everything. Just jump over it all. We don't care about these guys. She's tethered. Oh, come back here, lady. Okay, watch out for ads. They're still around. Good. Oh, oh, still some ads. Watch it. There they go. Now they despawn. Noise! Okay, so... Because we only have one Titan, we have to be a little bit careful. Look for orbs. Hey, there's some. Ooh, I believe I'm missing. Um... What metal? Probably not for me. Yeah, that was from my tether, so I don't see them. Yep, that's what we're gonna do. So, uh... hey, thanks, Nun, and thank you very much for the follow. Thank you. Uh, okay, so the way we'll do this one is uh, our bubble titan. So everybody should come over here for just a second. So what we're gonna do is. The way this one works, we're all going to be in the center room. We're going to be locked in there with glass. And eventually the glass will break and we have to kill all the adds. The most important thing to remember here is you can't get your health back. So we're going to like jump up on top of the doorways is the safest place to be in that center room over there. We kill all the adds and there's no hurry. There's no timer at that point. Once all the adds are dead, we're going to come over here. We're going to hang out right where we are right now. No one should go outside because once you cross this threshold, the timer starts. We don't want a timer. Uh, so Bubble Titan, what you're going to do is you're going to come out here. 
And you're going to put your bubble right here, just looking at this post, just pretty close to it. Kind of like where it has a round, it's kind of rounded right here, just looking in this rounded spot, right where my feet are. So he's going to put the, his bubble there, and everybody is going to come put their backs to the wall over here. Just right here, just line up in a firing line, aiming at Crota. Everyone should have their um, galleys on now that has it. Make sure you're reloaded. Even if you're short one rocket, pop us in now if you need to. And I will go hide by Crota, and then I will say three, two, one, fire. When I say fire is when you pull your triggers. Not before that, not after that. Wait till I say fire. And then uh, I will chop him two or three times. We're gonna, we're gonna two cycle this. It's not gonna be a one cycle because it's a lot safer to do a one cycle if he stands up early or something. Gives me plenty of time to get away. Um, so I, so again, I will count three, two, one, fire. I'll chop him, I'll hide, I'll go three, two, one, fire. You guys will shoot him again, I'll chop him again. And then everybody runs back inside the room. Up to the glass on the inside. And we'll hang in on here and then we'll go do it one more time and we will be done. So on this first cycle, what I need is for not our bubble titan but everybody else don't fire your weapons try to use your supers to kill all the ads in the right and left room uh do it carefully though i'd rather have you not get killed and if you think you're gonna get hurt then just don't do it come back here in the middle all right does anybody have questions Yep, he's exactly right. Everybody's so used to strafing, like your thumb will just strafe. Don't do it. Stand with your, he's, that's very good advice. Yeah, stand with your backs against the wall. Don't move, because you will absolutely step in front of somebody's rocket and want to start over. Don't do it. <laughs> All right, ready guys? All right. Everybody stand in the center to start it, and then highly advise jumping up on top of the doorways. If you can't make it, there's some little coffins down below. You can stand in the cracks of the wall. Definitely shoot for the acolytes first. If anybody has supers they want to use here, once there's not so many ads, that would be very helpful for our next round. Maybe we keep the shooting to a minimum. Ooh, a tether. There we go. Let's see if we can... Anybody else got a super besides our bubble titan that can kill some ads with? There we go. Nice. There we go. We're going to be good now. That's going to be funny. Nobody get on that center disc or the knights will come charging in. Alright, the left side is totally clear. Sweet, I got ammo too. All right, everybody come over and make sure your galleys are ready. Bubble Titan, are you ready? Yep. All right, go ahead, we'll follow you out. Go to the center room quickly, quickly. Noise. Um, if anybody's actually, well, everybody go to the front glass. I need to grab some orbs and I'll be right there. And if anybody's hurt, then I'll be up there with the chalice in just a second. Uh, 
bubble titan, were you able to get enough orbs to get your super? Should be good. Okay, cool. Uh, if anybody's taking damage, yeah, just keep it right up here, though, up front. There's a uh, thrall in here, maybe? You got it, okay. That chalice up here. Oh, I have it. Where did you go? Ooh, Proto's good on damage. Nice. I hear that a lot. All right, let's go, guys. Everybody go out, bubble tighten if you have your bubble. Just go put it. Sword bear, because he ran away. There he is. Oh, nice. He was right up on here. Good stuff. 